Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss how to create a contract as per IFRS 16 uh, leases in SAP. We have already done the basic configurations for asset, ROU assets, and also we have uh, done the basic configurations relating to contract under REFX module. So uh, let's begin. Uh, I'm directly going to our uh, SAP Easy Access screen. So this is my server. This is SAP Easy Access screen. We can directly go to uh, by entering a transaction code RECN or there is a long path under accounting. We have a separate module that is flexible real estate management. Now here we have we have contract and under that RECN, process contract. So I have already entered my company code and we'll just go to it and create a new object. Under this, we need to choose a contract type. So I'm choosing lease in lease accounting. The first thing we need to do is to assign a partner. Uh, we have already created a vendor and also discussed about uh, the BP role extended to the vendor required under lease accounting in my first video. You can refer that video for same. I'm just assigning my vendor that I have created for same. Uh, so here we need to give a contract period. 12.2024. We are taking it for two years. Uh, we need to assign a profit center and also give a business area. <coughs> Sorry. We have already done the basic configurations for all these things. Now, the next thing is we need to give a contract name. And that's all. The next thing is partners. The next parameter is partners. Uh, we have already assigned the vendor in the first screen. Uh, we don't need to do anything. We can add a new partner or delete a partner, or we can also uh, update a master data from here. The master data will take us to a BP screen. Here we can define a relationship period for the vendor. I'm giving the same as per my contract. The next is term. So under this tab, uh, they have automatically fetched the date of the period. Uh, given the term period as 24 months, it has automatically take the cash flow from first day of the contract period. We can also defer it to a month end or uh, the beginning of the next year. Uh, or next month as per our uh, contract says. I'm not changing it. And in memos, we can just uh, write any notes. The next is object. So we need to assign an object here. So right now I'm assigning a control cost center as my object. it will automatically open a new tab. Uh, now I need to give this object types validity. The object validity is different as this object is a cost center. And while creating a cost center, I have already defined its the object's validity. Okay, now this is object related to a contract. So I need to define a different validity. I'm just giving it or keeping it same as my contract. Right. Uh, the next is differing measurement. Uh, we don't we don't need to do anything under this tab. The next is posting parameters. Now here uh, we need to give a payment parameters, payment methods, uh, whatever we have included 
under ap or under banking we can assign everything here also we have uh, seen the dunning area we can just assign our dunning area give the bank details right now i'm not maintaining same in my company so not doing anything then what we need to do is to give an account determination we already have our account determination for machinery also if you notice uh, it has automatically uh, took the tax type and tax group you can refer to the video number two under lease accounting while we were configuring the contract type we have assigned uh, uh, the tax type to the contract type that is lease in lease accounting so that's why it has automatically fetched that uh, the partner it has took it from the first screen the next thing is conditions so now here we need to add the condition. Uh, right now I'm giving, keeping it as V100 credit rent. So keeping it same as my contract period, 24. Also posting date is, first posting date I'm keeping it as T23. We can change the formula by uh, keeping different things. Right now, I'm just keeping it as fixed amount. I'm keeping a unit price. This price is for my lease payment. On the basis of this, uh, present value calculations and everything is done. So the calculation, it has automatically fetched a sales tax amount because we have done proper configurations under the contract. It has calculation factor. It has automatically uh, automatically uh, fetched the tax amount. So per day also it is calculating. The next is distribution. It has assigned a controlling object to it. So per month, uh, we will be paying 10,000 rupees and per year, it will be 120,000 rupees and the sales tax amount would be 1,800 per month. And under memo, we can again write any description or important things that we need to keep us up updated. So this is how we assign a condition. The next is valuation parameters. So here, uh, whatever we have done under valuation uh, that we need to do. So IFRS 16 is our, uh, and we already have control uh, cost center as a object. Now the valuation here, what we need to do is to assign a asset. Now we created this asset number three for this contract. Uh, all configurations related to asset uh, shall come here. Now the consideration, start of consideration, first posting. Now end of right to use we need to give here. I'll keep it same as my contract. For two years, we shall be using the machinery and that we are considering it to the date of uh, the day that asset will obsolete. Now here we need to assign an interest rate as well. Assign. Okay, we will assign a cost center. Conditions. And uh, we'll just make it as complete. Oh, sorry, it has not taken the asset. We just need to assign the asset again. Okay. 
sorry we were actually taking the asset of different company code that's why it was not assigning the machinery we need to assign the asset of our company code Okay, now it is uh, complete. The rule is complete. Okay, this asset uh, they are saying is used under any other lease contract. So I've assigned another asset. I hope uh, now it will be fine. Now it is fine. The next thing is valuation. First, I need to, okay, the valuation. Uh, now here we can see uh, the simulation of the valuation. Automatically, everything is automatically fetched up. The present value of asset is automatically calculated. And uh, the depreciation also for the same is calculated as per IFRS 16. Similarly, clearing that how the payments will be done is being calculated. And interest part is also calculated per month per year basis. And all these entries are automatically posted once we save the contract and uh, run one of the important T code. So this was the valuation part. Uh, what we need to do is just save this contract. And uh, the contract 8004 is created in my company. And I just need to select this and execute. And just check. Automatically, this uh, report will be uh, generated. And from here, we can see the value of asset. Uh, the, the total payment of 10,000 per month for 24 uh, period, it will be 2,40,000 that we can see in clearing part, like 120 one year and 120 in another year. And uh, from this, at the rate of 10% interest, the asset is the present value of asset is 2,18,514. Similarly, the depre uh, depreciation is calculated on the basis of asset and the interest is calculated. So this is how uh, the contract under IFRS 16 is created. Uh, thank you all for listening. Have a really good day.